हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज राकेश तलरेजा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू बाई यूज एग्जाम प्रेप येस गाइज फाइनली द गेट 2023 रिजल्ट्स हैव बीन अनाउंस एंड विद दैट कम्स द फाइनल आंसर की आल्सो एंड एज एक्सपेक्टेड देर आर गुड नंबर ऑफ चेंजेस इन द आंसर की ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड अ स्मॉल चेंज इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल सो वॉट आर द करेक्शन इन द फाइनल आंसर की इन दिस ब्रीफ वीडियो लेट्स हैव अ लुक इन टू इट सो दैट यू नो ऑल दोज आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट चेंजेस यू विल कम टू नो कि वॉट चेंजेस हैव बीन डन एंड हाउ मेनी मार्क्स टू ऑल हैव बीन given here is the first question as expected guys there is no uh, you know big discussion in this question it is pretty obvious that it is going to be 3 into 5 the product of areas of the given signals x1 t and x2 t i think the answer ki earlier given 17 was just a typo error okay because there's no chance we get 17 so final corrected answer is 100% 15 this was a two marks question from signal and system let us move ahead to the next question the question from network as expected you know what 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 was a discrepancy here that the question is talking about the h parameter model but when you talk about the diagram it doesn't justify the h parameter model so there is a discrepancy with the diagram given and the data in the statement the original answer given by iit earlier was a and it has been finally corrected as marks to all yes now now this is a benefit even to those students who did not know how to solve this question yeah who left the question they also get okay the positive marks for this is again plus 2 uh so it's a bonus for all Ult ultimately mta is a bonus to all so plus 2 for all now when we come to this next particular question that is from edc yes guys if you really consider all temperature effects in this question yeah we get something around 69 point something okay but there is nothing mentioned in the question so if a student solve this questions in the ideal condition okay we get the answer somewhere around 63 point something both the conditions have been explained already by sanjay rathi sir and uh, you know to considering both the uh, answer key by iit has been expanded earlier it was 69 to 70 now it is 60 to 70 so whether your answer was 63 or something or 69 something both of them have been given the correct marks right this is better situation as compared to mta because you get the marks if you really attempt at the question right mta is just bonus for all okay and it is a demotivating factor for the students who actually gave the time to that particular question but these are the things not in our control okay we can just talk and discuss over it but you know ultimately we just hope that it doesn't at least happen with the fellow aspirants next year uh, gate examinations now coming to this particular question again this was discussed by rathi sir this is a question from analog the confusing part here was that you know if you try to think about the oscillation condition as per the barkhusen criteria we should be talking about the open loop gain but the statement is slightly talking about the closed loop gain so this uh, you know can, can confuse many of the students they argued on based on this and this has been accepted and it has been finally given marks to all okay earlier the answer given was d but the final is marks to all again whether you attempted or you not attempted you are going to get Uh, the plus one for this. This was the one mark category question from EC. Okay, one more, one last question from EC. If you talk about yes, uh, you know, uh, actually there is no big confusion here, but the confusion is in terms of diagram. Yes, this diagram says that there is a connection from this particular node. There is Q one bar as well as bubble. So several students understood and thought that it is Q. It is Q one actually. Okay, but actually if you go through standard books also, now okay, a bubble represents low. a bar represents low okay and a bubble and bar they are representation bubble and bar don't cancel okay so they also represent low right okay and every flip flop will have two outputs only na q1 and q1 bar it has to be obviously q1 bar and if we consider the complement output we get this design as a mod 4 counter and 1 kilohertz divided by 4 will be 250 what that was the correct answer 250 kilohertz okay and earlier it was given as 250 but you know but you know students found some lectures at nptel whether where they have taken this bar and bubble cancelled and they have taken as q1 okay and if you actually take it as q1 you get as a mod 2 device Okay, and then the answer will be one kilo one megahertz divided by two five hundred. IIT has accepted this, and and the logic maybe for accepting this is that this is not a conceptual mistake by students. They know how to solve the question. The confusion here is in terms of diagram. Okay, and on that ground they have accepted. Okay, and uh, congratulations to those who challenged this question. So whether it was two fifty or five hundred, this has been uh, both will be given the marks. Both the category of students will be given marks, and it is again a two mark question. So very crucial for students. Okay, these are the five questions from EC. Let me summarize it once quickly. Two questions MTA, one from analog circuits and one from network. Three question answer key correction. That is one from signal and system, pretty obvious. One is this digital question. That is the confusion regarding to the bubble and complement. And one is the EDC answer range expansion. Okay, the question where the temperature effects are not mentioned, whether to consider or whether to take the ideal case. Okay, let me take one question from instrumentation as well. This all question also we discussed earlier. Okay, we have given you the MATLAB proof. Although it is a non-minimum phase system. Okay, we can't. 
can't directly apply the face margin formula. This has been clearly stated in the Benjamin Guo. But yes, we can, you know, at least we can trust MATLAB. Or even, you know, I have shown you drawing the polar plot of this. And even when you come up with the complete polar plot, we are able to understand that the gain margin, sorry, the face margin of this has to be 0 degree. Okay, so answer key of this has been corrected. It was earlier coming up to be minus 2. There was no logic even from the polar plot that we are able to figure out minus 2. But yes, it has been corrected from minus 2 to plus 2. And even if you have marked it as 0, we have shown from the MATLAB also it is coming to be 0, 0.00 something very close to 0. So it's actually 0 and minus 2 set 2 covers up that particular answer. Okay, guys, so these are the corrections from EC as well as IN. Okay, uh, uh, hope you have seen uh, all the possible corrections. Hope you have really performed. Uh, great uh, in the gate examination. If not, there are many more opportunities. There are opportunities at low score. There are many other exams going to come up like Bach, Nilit and etc. Okay, you know, maybe ISRO also coming up or maybe some of you planning for gate 24 guys, whatever you plan, all the very best. Never be disappointed in life. Okay, and hope this very small video gives a quick uh, summarization of what are the changes in electronics and communication as well as in instrumentation guys. Thank you and stay tuned to your subscribe to Baiju's exam prep YouTube channel for all such updates and many more post gate guide sessions will be also coming live for you thank you stay safe and take care of yourself